and today the earth still rotates around itself while it orbits the sun as it did so many billion years ago. Now think about a fire or anywhere else where you experience heat. It only gets hot on the side facing the fire. This is what Earth would look like if it didn't rotate. One side would be scorching hot and the other freezing cold. How good that Earth rotates! Where I am, it rises behind me and it travels across the sky and sinks almost where you're sitting. And the next day, it doesn't come up there again, no. It goes around to come up again, at least that's what we see sinks here, it rises in this direction. Do you know what these directions are called? The sun rises in the east. That word comes from Eos, the Greek goddess of dawn and morning light. People used to call countries in that direction the Orient because that means to find your way. And the sun sets in the west, this way, where I am. People used to call countries in the western direction, the occident. And that comes from the Latin occidere, which means to fall or to set. This is a compass. It helps us to orient ourselves. It helps us find directions. When we turn around, the needle always shows in the same direction. That way, we always know where we are going. Each direction has a name. East, West, North and South. Let's find these directions in the room. The edges show the cardinal directions, so even without a compass, I know where they are. We can use the long strings to find where the cardinal directions sort of touch the walls because we're going to put some labels on the walls to always know where the directions are. So after putting every label in the right direction, we know where all the cardinal directions are in our room. But how did people get around before compasses? They could have used the sun, but what happened at night? What did they do? At night, we can see the stars. Some star pictures, they're called constellations, 
always show in the same direction. This is the Southern Cross. We can use the long axis to always find south. wonder about the people in the Northern Hemisphere. They can't see the Southern Cross, but they have the North Star. It's always due north and they can use a constellation called the Big Dipper to find it. At night we can see the stars. Some stars stay in the same spot in the sky. This is the North Star. It's always due north. But how do we find it amongst the other stars? There is a constellation that shows us the way. It's called the Big Dipper. We can use the front edge to always find the North Star. But how do people in the Southern Hemisphere find their direction? They can't see the North Star, but they have the Southern Cross. When you take the long axis five times, you find South. So now we're going to look at who actually moves the sun or the earth. What do we see? We see the sun rise in the east, travel across the sky and sink in the west. Go and look at an object. Move left and right. It looks like the object is moving. It sure looks like the star is moving, but from here I can see that it was you that was moving and the star is standing still. It's the same with the earth and the sun. To us it looks like the sun is moving, but we know that the earth rotates, so it's actually us that's moving. Imagine that we lived right here. From here, we see the sun rising in the east, traveling across the sky and setting in the west. We are here and we see the sun rise in the east, travel across the sky and set in the west. But the sun doesn't move, the earth rotates in this direction. The clock turns this way. This is clockwise. This is anti-clockwise. Here is our globe. It rotates anti-clockwise. But now it's rotating clockwise. Which Way does Earth actually rotate? Anticlockwise or clockwise? Well, it depends on where you are in the world. But no matter where you are, the Earth always rotates eastward.
We've seen what it would be like if the Earth didn't rotate. Because it does rotate after all, let's see what happens because of this rotation. You can see it's dark here, like in space. The light part of the globe has day, the dark part has night. Let's imagine we are right here. It's currently day. Day, day. Oh, it's night. Night, night. And day, day, day. Still day. There it's night again. Night, night, night. We have a friend in Asia. It's day for him. It's day for us. Now it's night for him already, but still day for us. There it's night for both of us, and now it's day for him already. And day for us again, and he goes into the night, and we follow him into the night. This looks like the Earth is flat. We look at it from above. The Earth is rotating eastward just like the arrows on the chart show. This piece is midday. It's straight in the sun. There it's afternoon, evening, and then night time until it's midnight, dawn. The sun rises, it's morning. We have breakfast and it's midday again. This happens in 24 hours. Humans have divided the day into equal parts called hours. We use a clock to measure their passing. Our clocks only have 12 hours and therefore have to go around twice in one day. <laughs>